Evening all, welcome to Kicking Dust. Right, um, well today we have stuff to bring you. This is cool, there's a dev blog. And I read it, I'm informed, so let's talk about it. There's, um, and we're going to talk about the new, the, the new arsenal. And that's arsenal. Uh, <laughs> really we're going to look at some of the new guns. Right, first up, the Kaldari Bolt Pistol. Nice um, lawsuit from Games Workshop at some point I'm sure, but it's uh, a nice idea. This apparently is going to fire nails literally nails the Caldari obviously a big nail manufacturer so this is going to be literally firing nails hence the bolt pistol they could call it the bolt gun but it needed to be kind of you know smaller so they've made a bit of a bolt pistol it's more like an smg in my mind um looks a bit odd doesn't it maybe i've got that wrong but as as far as i understand this is a, a basically a, glor a glorified war made nail gun and this is really cool because obviously the biggest problem they've had with a while now has been the pistols have always been kind of um limited you've got the amar and you've had the uh, mimitar uh, pistols and i think having adding to them and having the the kind of all all four races pistols is a really nice thing and you'll see that as well we get to the iron cannon uh, the ion pistol rather um in just a moment but before we look at that one there is also going to be another smg to complement the ranks and this is the the magsec kaldari smg now that looks pretty badass doesn't it it looks like the gun from uh, um, Stargate? Is it the P90? Remember when you used to play Counter-Strike, you used to have that P90? You couldn't really afford a carbine in the, in the round, so you'd go with like the, uh, the, <laughs> the um, what was this called again? I forget, but it was like a, a kind of really good SMG. Um, what if it'll be silenced? It looks a bit like a silencer on the end of that, but that's pretty sweet. Um, typical Caldari design as well, and I think this is going to be cool. Um, from the stats, this looks like it's going to be quite a good gun. Um, I suspect that SMGs generally, well, they've always been quite good, really, haven't they? If you don't run SMGs, then you're missing out because they are actually very, very effective guns. The M109, oops, the M209, rather, um, is a phenomenally powerful um, SMG that the Mimitar have, and I think definitely worth um, a look. So I think this is going to be a really good addition to uh, the game. Um, again, high rate of fire, um, low damage, but basically you're putting so many shots in the air. It's all about putting a, le a wall of lead in the air, effectively. So, um, really quite excited about that. And I think there needs to be, you know, certainly more SMGs um, coming through as well. So again, really nice that we're seeing a kind of addition to the arsenal. A lot of people, when they play the game, they generally don't run a secondary weapon. I find. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Post in the comments. Tell me what you run as your secondary, because. Maybe it's just because I usually just run, if I run a rail rifle, for example, I, you know, it's, it's difficult to kind of justify a, a, a secondary firearm, um, really, generally. Um, same if I run the shotgun. If I run a shotgun, generally, if you need that second gun, you've kind of fucked up somewhere. So to me, I've generally not run one. Now we have the Ion Pistol, which again, lawsuit from Deus Ex, uh, <laughs> um, I think that's going to happen very soon, um, looks amazing doesn't it, I think the, the I, I'm always impressed with the designers of CCP, they really know their stuff, and I think this this, this just screams Caldari, uh, Caldari, this just screams Galante to me, it really does, and I think when you look at that like disc on the front looks a bit like the shotgun it looks a bit kind of badass and i think this is just a great now i'm told that this thing's going to fire irons so actually as you fire it a little iron will pop out the front you know a little sort of like v-shaped metal iron um so it will actually do bludgeoning damage um very weak against shields from what i see from the stats um but as you fire it basically propels a you know a kind of um, a pellet that morphs into an iron and then basically you know biffs the person on the face and kills them so great stuff you know really really <laughs> loving the kind of uh, um the 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 law here because obviously as everybody knows you know the galante have won their wars against everybody else by using house appliances i think also i like the kind of look of the stock of the gun as well it looks quite badass and they've really incorporated the the look of the devol um assault rifle into it as well i think it's just uh a stunning you know addition uh to the game now again i i really would look at how a lot of these guns are going to be used because i think they are they are primarily secondary weapons so i think i'm curious to see what people are going to make of them because you really only pull your pistol out uh, if you know what i'm saying boys you only pull your pistol out when you're absolutely sure you need it and you know what I mean. <laughs> and I think this is no different. I think, um, you know, you're going to have to make sure that, you know, it's the right pistol for the job. Things like the Scrambler pistol are very good because the aim assist is very strong with it, obviously. And I think that's kind of right because 
if you're at close quarters and you're, you know, you're going up against somebody with a rifle, a rifle is more weighty and, and difficult to move than a pistol. So a pistol, I think, makes sense that it has a better aim assist on it. Um, at least that's my theory anyway. It just kind of makes sense to do that. Now, along with all of these new guns is uh, a whole raft of um, fascinating blocks of information and cells and stuff. And if this is the kind of thing that excites you, then, um, well, interestingly enough, um, I'm no different. I, I, I looked at this, I tried to work a few things out, and then I realized I'm looking at a spreadsheet in my spare time. I'm not at work yet, I'm looking at a spreadsheet. And I realized that actually there was more to life than uh, looking at... <laughs> <laughs> spreadsheets about space guns in a space game so I gave up but post in the comments if you've done any you know kind of preliminary analysis of this and tell us what your your opinions of this are and I think again it just you know it's good to see that they're really kind of pushing a real range of guns a real range of fits um, and I can't wait to hear more about the suits particularly as well because I think that's going to be quite interesting again having more guns is probably a good thing I think generally it's always good to have more choice and I think as long as these guns aren't just reskinned um, which of course they're not you know as long as they have a different feel completely to them then I think um, this is going to be an excellent addition in total I think you know SMGs for example they could feel very similar and and so on now also as part of this patch there is a reduction or rather an, in an increase of the T TK, that's the time to kill. And this is uh, summarized by, again, a very, very interesting spreadsheet um, to the left, the, or right rather. And if you look at that, you're basically seeing that a lot of the guns are being reduced in their damage potential. So effectively, they're being reduced. Now, a lot, add to this a nerf to damage um, enhancers from, for example, a complex damage booster gives you, I think, 10% additional damage. That's going to be reduced to five. Enhanced will be dropped to four. These are good things. These are all good things. I think a game that mean you know, a, a, a proper gun game battle between space <laughs> mercenaries where you actually don't just blap somebody in three seconds because you use a damage enhanced evol um, is a good thing. I think you're going to have much more kind of, you know, duels. And I think you're going to have more fun kind of uh, sparring with people over distance. And I, I really look forward to, uh, to seeing how this is going to work. Um, I would also make it so that you can't fit damage mods to sniper rifles. I think sniper rifles are just massively boring and I think there's nothing wrong with them but I just think you know I'd, I'd want to encourage more people to actually come forward. It, it shouldn't be a choice to pick a sniper in every match. You know what I mean? You should say okay I'll snipe this match but then next one I'll run a shotgun or a scout or something. I think just there's too many people who specialize into one thing only. And this is kind of seen, you know, relatively recently with people who, when I bomb truck some people, they get really, like, ragey at me. So they keep coming back, and then I bomb truck them again. And I bomb trucked, my record is six tanks in one match from one guy who just wouldn't stop. He just didn't, you know, he just didn't stop coming at me, bro. Um, and it was pretty funny. Now, there's also going to be some buffs as well. So the mass drivers seem to be getting a bit of a buff. Good thing? Bad thing? Don't know. To be honest, we'll see how it goes because this could be quite a, uh, a pain in the ass, to be honest, because you know, mass drivers were pretty broken for a while. They got nerfed. They're pretty useless. So this could, be a, this could be a rejigging back to them being maybe okay, in which case I think I'm quite excited to see what these um, things look like. From what I can tell, pretty much the mass driver is going to be um, I think just a bit more effective than it was. And I did hear, I did read rather, something about the laser rifle as well. But again, laser rifle seems to be quite you know, potent still, but I suspect that it might be, it's probably not worth changing the laser rifle yet. Let's see what the TTK changes bring, because I have this utopian dream where dust will become a, basically a very nice um, long, uh, I don't know, I don't want to say slow because it's not slow at all, but you know, it, gun battles will be more like this where you're, you know, you're, you're all like almost like Daisy in armor where you're kind of, you know, using cover and you're taking hits, you know, whatever, um, but you're kind of surviving longer than you normally would. And I, I think that to me is quite exciting. I, I look forward to those kind of gun battles where it's a bit more. Um, I guess, uh, I don't know, fun. You know, it takes longer to kill someone, therefore it's, you know, a bit more fun. To be honest, rail rifles and combat rifles at the moment are just massively broken. They're, they're very powerful weapons. Um, they're fun as well, but to be honest, I mean, I, I've only just, like, just, you know, basic, got basic skills in the combat rifle, but it's amazing how many people are running them now, and it just shows you how good they are. Because that advanced rare, uh, combat rifle and also the advanced rare rifle, even the proto rare rifles, are just ridiculously good. 
Um, and they do damage, and again, this is a funny thing, because they do the same damage over a distance uh, as they would very close up, so, which has never really made sense to me. There should be a fall off the other way as well, so an optimal range, rather. Um, they did that in EVE quite well, so, you know, you had ammo types and so on, but um, in Dust, pretty much, your gun, le you know, the bullet leaving your gun is the same effectiveness as it is, you know, over range, which, again, real life, I guess, that's probably what it's like in, in IRL, but... Um, it would maybe be nice to see a bit more, um, you know, a bit more of a penalty for using those guns up close. So, for example, scouts are using combat rifles, which just, I don't know, it doesn't, doesn't feel right to me. I think, you know, scouts should be, you know, given bonuses to use things like shotguns and flaylocks and pistols and stuff like that. Uh, anyway, so we'll see how these go. So, you know, in terms of the new stuff coming, that's what we're looking at. Um, is it going to be fun? I think so. Um, I would love to see more scale. I think the scope of the game is doing well, but I'd love to see more, sc or rather the other way around. I'd rather, you know, the scale of the game is increasing, the scope isn't. We still only really play three game modes, so it'd be nice to see that added a little bit. So there we go, hope you enjoyed that. That was all the new stuff, and uh, yeah, don't, you know, check out the Ion Pistol, because it fires irons. Seriously, it does. Honest, seriously, it does. <laughs>